Hi, guys. So, uh, some more things I forgot that I left out. Um, I'm sure this is pretty obvious, but, uh, the names, you know, Isla and Luki are obviously play on words for, um, you know, sight and eye related things. Isla, I, and Luki, as in look or Luki here. <laughs> um, so yeah. No, actually, I completely forgot, um, all of, uh, Alex, like, inspiration. I completely forgot to tell everything regarding that. Um, well, yeah, I wanted to make a Dryder character, and, uh, as far as what specifically inspired him. Smalt it was a multitude of different things. Um, you have, uh, first of all, one of the main inspirations was honestly the Dryder itself, also known as Thorogumu in Japanese mythology, while, while the male version is Suchigumu, or Tsuchigomo, although it usually just resembles a giant spider, or, um, a spider with a man's head, not necessarily a, a humanoid spider. Um, sometimes it's even half spider, half tiger. But, uh, the Jorogumo is like a proper centaur, half woman, half spider. That's the main inspiration, and, uh, I wanted to make a male version, which was probably heavily influenced by, um, Lucas the spider. Um, and then some other things, uh, were a uh, scaredy bat and boo boo from Ruby, from Ruby Bloom. Uh, scaredy about the eyes and, uh, boo-boo, the, uh, the hair right there on top. And uh, since Lucas the spider was already, um, was brown, I wanted to make a gray one or something different. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, I could have actually made him a darker gray, but I really liked this nice light gray color. It just looked really nice to me. So, yeah, um... And the eyes are, the specific green is called honeydew. So that's neat. And, uh, the ruler that, uh, to type of ruler on the back, I'm sure you could tell because of the lines on the side. Um, yeah, that was obviously inspired by the, uh, Black Widow's hourglass, but because, you know, he's an architect, I wanted to see what I could do for the design. But at the same time, I didn't want to just put like a simple line ruler. I wanted to make it look more like a neat design that was somewhat pointed like an hourglass is pointed two triangles together, forming, coming together. So I came up with the idea of, uh, you know, um, one of those, those triangle rulers because they're pointed and, uh, sometimes they have a handle in the middle. I thought that with just make it a little more, uh, neat instead of just a simple triangle ruler. Um, plus it makes it a little different from the triangle in the sense that triangles aren't always a good thing, if you know what I mean. Triangles and pyramids, they're not always a good sign. Um, so I wanted to make it less directly a, a triangle and putting that line in the middle. Um, and it also goes with his hat, too, because it's pointed like that in a similar shape. Um, a little tricky, because I had to get it to bend over his body and get the perspective right and to, you know, properly bend like that. Uh, but yeah, overall, I, I think I got it. I don't really know if we'll give him any more eyes, like, on the back of the set. I think I just kind of like the four there like that. But yeah, uh, tough. I don't think if there's anything else I, uh, left out. But yeah, this isn't, uh, he went through one iteration before this, and, uh, oh, Reverie, okay, so this reminds me, what ultimately led me to his finalized design was, um, a game called Smite. Specifically, um, Arachne. And even more specifically, the skin for Arachne called Itsy Bitsy Arachne, as it was just adorable. 
And that's really the only reason I ever got into that, interested in that game, um, is be because, as you know, those mythological games, I'm not a role. They fan of all the gods and stuff, being a Christian, where it's all fantasy, but especially because usually they depict their female characters. Very not modest, wearing hardly anything, a lot of the time. But that was one, you know, hidden gem in that game was that adorable skin. Um, so you can thank that skin for saving Luki's design. <laughs> so yeah. Um. But yeah, guys, I, uh, I don't really think that's about it. Um... Yeah, because of that skin, uh, over the overall designs, especially the legs and the, the little mandibles there at the end. I, I think that's what they're called. I should have done a little research first. Or what, uh, that skin inspired, uh, really went into reshaping. Now, another thing I forgot was that this one tooth there, that also was inspired by Scaredy Bat, as if you look at, Scaredy Bat, he uh, has one little tooth. There. Uh, so yeah. The two glares and the eyes, the double glare that also is inspired by Issy Bitsy Arachne. Um, yeah. I don't really think there's anything else for, uh, Island Luki, I think that's about it. Yeah. In later versions, um, I, when I drew Alec from the, from the side view, I realized because the hat was so wide, it was tricky getting my perception right. I had to, I get to where his head, his hat leans back a little, which actually means it might technically be a little taller and it looks just a little shorter because it's leaning down a little bit. Towards the back of his hand. So just keep that in mind if, like, you ever wanted to draw him again. But uh, yeah, feel free to, you know, be drawn any of my characters if you want. But be sure to check out what I have for the story so far. Um, not many have appeared in the story so far. Uh, uh, Alec only, he hasn't yet, um, they well in the later stories, so just hold tight. You know, it takes a long time. It just, from the idea to the writing to the drawing, the whole process is very long. So, yeah, guys. Um, but, uh, I've been trying, I'm really trying to keep up on it because, you know, I don't know. It's either now or never with the way the world's going. Uh, especially this, you know. Next coming, E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N, you know, depending on who wins, uh, and whether or not we're, you know, how long we're, it's gonna be till we go to certain types of camps in the future. But, you know, it helps me to get it out, and all you do, you do for God, you do, do it. it whatever you do, do for God, and, you know, he'll show you the way. Yeah. Anything that doesn't honor God is, you know, it's just extra. It really doesn't have any fruit in it if it doesn't honor God. So all you do, do for God, guys. That's so much, it's so rewarding and it leaves you with such a good feeling. So, yeah. Yeah, and I always put, uh, I didn't at first, but I always put Bible verses on the, the, the artwork I do. Um, not on the official, like, character images, of course, the PNGs, cause that's like their character image. Okay. Yeah, so this has been going on in for about 10 minutes now. So I'll stop it when it gets to, uh, 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, guys, thank you for taking a look. I uh, hope you had a nice time doing my creation and works. Um, 
Uh, God bless. Have a nice day. God, may God bless and be with you and your households. Thank you. Bye.